a snack. Whatever he was throwing Balls was not good. Not good. I promise you, whatever he was throwing was not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. It's amazing not how good, good you are at reading the field when you're on defense after the play. <laughs> <laughs> Great defense right there by Salty. It was good pocket, too, by Henry. Kind of a scary last second throw now. A big third and 18. Both guys, especially for Salty, you've got to get off the field. Barv rolling right. Going back across the middle. Madden 20. Sure. Stand up. The delay fade is there. In today's video, we are breaking down how that play right there was a critical play in Henry's matchup against Salty and what we can learn from that play as it applies to the rest of our offense in Madden 21. What is up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. And if you've never been to my channel before, we break down Madden 21 tips and tricks here on YouTube every single day. And if you've never been to my channel before, we actually break down four of those videos every single day as well. And if you have any Madden questions that you'd like answered, you can always feel free to text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen there, 812 Two one six three six four four. We also have a text message membership for those users who text in, and we are able to send them um, full schemes every single week. We've broken down gun bunch. We've broken down um, gun trips. Um, or I'm sorry, single back trio. We've broken down a lot of amazing schemes um, over the uh, course of Madden 21 for our text message members, and we send a new scheme out every single Monday. So if you want to get access to that free content, I'd highly encourage you to just text me. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. Now, what I wanted to do today is I have so much respect for the way Henry plays the game, and I wanted to break down a concept that he was utilizing out of the bunch tight end formation. And Salty was running big nickel over G, and in this exact example, um, I think he was actually running zone, but this can work against man coverage, and it can also work against zone coverage. So what I'm going to do is just set up my big nickel over G defense here, and I'm going to come out in um, man coverage first because I think man coverage is going to do a little bit better of a job, and then we're going to go through some zone coverage concepts as well that you're going to see this just absolutely torch. Now, you saw that Henry audibled over into the play uh PA boot over from the bunch tight end. Now, this is a special little play this year, especially um, the way that Henry has the setup um, for this play. Now, if you if you don't know, this is in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. That's the playbook that Henry was in um, for this uh, this championship uh, final matchup here. So uh, I'm going to show you a gun bunch tight end, PA boot over, and show you the setup. Now, there's several things that you can do to break this down and set this up. We actually broke down a free bunch tight end mini scheme on our channel this uh, actually yesterday that you can pick up. If you haven't already checked out the channel, just text me. I can shoot you the link. Uh, no problem. But all we're going to do on this is we're going to take our tight end and we're going to put him on a uh, delay fade. You do that by hitting triangle X on the tight end and flicking the right stick up. You see he's going to be on a delay fade. What that basically means is he's going to block until we send him out on a route. And the way that you send him out on a route is basically you just hold the X button until he is triggered to then go out on his route. Now, what Henry liked to do out of this basically is just smart route this left of screen post route. And essentially what's going to happen is all of this action to the right side of the screen is going to get Salty's user to basically follow. And then he is actually going to release the delay fade. And what you're going to notice in man coverage is one of the keys with this is to roll out of the pocket. That's why I got Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs are perfect for this in regs. But if you're playing mutt and you don't have an escape artist, then all you have to do is just slide over uh slide over in the pocket and really what i like to do is double team that defensive end just to get a little extra extra blocking on here another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could try to get a cut block with your running back by blocking him sometimes you just leave that play action on there as well but we're just going to show you uh, how to do that so what i'm doing to get the cut block is i'm double teaming that right of screen um defensive tackle and kind of anticipating a four downman or three down lineman rush you really don't want to do this against the blitz even though it does work against the blitz but it's primarily really, really good against a, um, a max coverage defense. So at the snap of the ball, what Henry's going to do is he's going to look right. Now he's going to eventually roll out of the pocket, and what you'll notice is all of the defenders are going to basically chase the quarterback once he rolls out of the pocket. We didn't get a great example on that, primarily because we blocked the running back, but what I wanted to do is show you an instant replay. We'll run this again. But basically what's happening here is Henry is going to effectively um, – and most of the time, like I said, this is why it's a little bit better from zone, because sometimes in man coverage, they'll blitz. Um, but what you'll notice here is this is man coverage, and he's going to block 
on, in the gameplay, he actually left the play action on, but you can block this running back as well to get better blocking animations. What you'll see here is it leaves the tight end one-on-one -on -one with this guy, that double team mechanic, which is probably not a smartest idea, as you see here. Um, but you notice that safety's in a spy. Now watch, at this point right here, uh, once the play kind of breaks down, I'm going to roll to my right and release the tight end fade route. And take a look. You notice here that all of these guys, all of these guys right here are in man coverage, yet they're running at the quarterback because he's out of the pocket. And then you're able to basically throw back this delay fade wide open uh, against man in coverage. I can't tell you how many times people have ran this on me online and have been very, very effective. So if you wanted a quick snap here, all you have to do is just put the tight end on delay fade and then literally just roll out until you get chased. Once you get chased, just throw it up. And if you have a good quarterback like a Mahomes or a Brett Favre or a Aaron Rodgers, this is going to work like, I mean, it's just going to work really, really well. And what I like to do is I like to sit here for a second, make them think I'm going to run that route concept, and then just roll out. And there, right there you saw I sent him too soon, and the guy was able to go. You don't want to send the tight end on the route until you notice the guy that's manned up on the tight end is going to chase you right there at that point, throw it, and there you go, and you're up and you're rolling. Now, let me show you how this works against zone coverage. Zone coverage actually is much, much easier to beat, in my opinion. So if, he, if you catch zone coverage look, literally all you're going to do, immediately get out of the pocket and release him. Just immediately get out of the pocket and release him, and what you'll see is he's going to get right up. And that play has to be used. Now, the hard part for people to guard within this play is the fact that you have so many other good things that you can do. You can wait for your crosser to open up. You can roll right here and hit this crosser uh, right on the sideline. There, I threw it a little bit too late. But you can you can see the power of this play. Um, if they were to run man coverage, maybe they run like cover four palms on you, actually. If they run something like a match coverage, cover four palms, this post route to Sammy Watkins will typically beat it right over the top. I just have to lob it up and over the top of the defense. Right there, he actually played well on it. But typically, that will actually roast uh, match coverage this year. There's so many things you can do. Another thing that you could do with this play very easily is you could put um, you could put uh, Tyreek Hill like right here. You could motion him to the right, put him on a slant. So that's going to basically pull your user, whoever your user is, is going to go to the left to guard the slant, and then you roll right hit your little tight end delay fade, and now you're really starting to use the whole field and do the pin and pull actions. Another thing we saw from Henry also was a really good utilize, utilization of his blocked running back and using him on delay routes. The reason these delay routes are so good is because they offer a little bit of extra pass protection, and then they also go out on a route if they're in something that is not requiring a six-man protection. So, Anyways, this play was just amazing. I thought it was really, really well ran and really, really, really well um, timed as well. But you get something like this, and basically they start um, maybe coming down to try to essentially putting purples out there to try to stop these crossing routes. And what you'll notice is this post route on the right, you can pretty much get that over the top of that man coverage, especially if you have a good receiver running that route. If that was Tyreek Hill, he'd probably get a little bit more separation on this in particular play. But what I really wanted to show you is, you know, a lot of people, what their strategy is going to be is to run man coverage on this. The problem is, and, and this is the key to this really, really working well, like let's say they're in cover two, and let's say they man up the tight end with a defensive lineman. Let's just say they do that. Okay, he's on the delay fade. Snap the ball here. Now you see that the man coverage is going to basically abandon the tight end. He's just going to blitz because he reads the tight end as he's blocking, and the tight end goes on a route and roasts him. This play, I cannot stress you how enough, Henry was really clutch with this play when he called it. Really strategic, I thought, as well, with when he called it and when he timed it. But he was able to get a critical first down uh, in a critical separation moment. You see, right when he goes, he roasts and he throws it out there. He was able to pick up a third and 18 with this play that actually ended up, in my opinion, stealing the game for him on that drive. So that is how you do that. It's a really, really good concept. And real quick, it does not just have to apply to the gun bunch. Can actually or the the bunch tight end it can apply to trips tight end. Um, you could run this play right here. PA crossers is a really good example of how you could use this um, use this right here. So literally, I'm gonna just take the running back and I can put the running back on whenever I want. You know, I actually really like to put him on little in routes or little out routes, but anything really. And what you'll notice is the same concept is going to apply. You're gonna roll out of the pocket. He's gonna get chased. You release him. He goes. And as you can see, it's a big gainer. Really, really effective at a trips tight end and bunch tight end just because the tight end's on the solo side, which kind of they typically will forget about the tight end. 
when you do something like that. But overall, I thought that was just a great concept. Wanted to break that down for you. Now, guys, we will be live streaming tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern or 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Our next video will be up at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And if you did not know, we actually have a full ebook out right now that you can pick up. It's my full Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook and my full 46 uh, defensive playbook. Um, that guide is really, really good. Over 125 pages of breakdown, and if you have not already picked up that guide, I would highly encourage you to do that. Um, maybe you got some extra spending money for Thanksgiving, holidays around. Um, it's a really, really good guide. It's really going to take your batting game to the next level. I guarantee that. We've been able to take people who you know, have been passing for 100, maybe 150 yards here and there to now routinely throwing for over 300, 400 yards. People have gained, gone from not even contending to being in the top 100 in the world uh, for Madden with this e Book. So this ebook has been tremendously successful, and I'd highly encourage you if you have not picked up this ebook yet, you can click the link in the description below to pick that up. Other than that, guys, make sure you jump in the Discord. That link is in the description, and we'll see you on our YouTube live stream tonight, right here on the channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.